Hello students, welcome back. In this part, we are going to learn about Kohlraff's law, which expresses the conductance of any electrolyte at infinite dilution in terms of the conductance of the constituent ions. And we will also going to discuss some of the important applications of Kohlraff's law. So let's start with the presentation. Yeah. So just now we learnt about what is meant by conductance, electrolytic conductance, and what are the different ways of expressing this conductance of electrolytic solution. So now let's see how the dilution will affect the conductance of the electrolytic conductance. So we know that in dilution will increase the volume of the solution, will add more amount of solvent, and that decreases the concentration of the solution. So volume will increase, volume of the solution increase and concentration of the solution will decrease. So like if you take uh, NaCl plus water solution and in which water is the solvent, so you add more amount of, if you add more amount of water then the volume of the solution increases and the concentration of the solution that is either molarity or normality will get, uh, will go down, they will decrease. So now let's see how the conductance is getting affected by the dilution. First is specific conductance, K. Specific conductance is the conductance offered by 1 centimeter cube volume of the electrolytic solution. So upon dilution, what happens? The volume of the solution increases. Volume of the solution increases. But the number of ions in 1 cc and 1 ml of volume will decrease. Here we are increasing the volume but we are not changing the number of ions. The number of ions are still same. So the number of ions per volume will get decreased. So now the same number of ions will present in more volume. So as a result the number of ions in 1 centimeter cube volume will get decreased which decreases the specific conductance of the solution. So specific conductance decreases upon dilution. And now let's see how equivalent conductance is getting affected by diluting the solution, diluting the electrolytic solution. The equivalent conductance, you know, it is, it is equal to specific conductance into volume of the solution, say in, in milliliters. But here we have seen the specific conductance or conductivity decreases upon dilution. But this is decreasing upon dilution, but this is increasing upon dilution. Volume will increase. But this increment is more as compared to this decrement. So as a result, the old value increases because the increase in volume will dominate as compared to the decrease in the conductivity of the solution. So as a result, the equivalent conductance increases upon dilution. This is due to the increase in number of ions after dilution. Similarly, molar conductance also increases upon dilution and the molar conductance is equal to conductivity into specific conductivity into volume of the solution in ml. So here also the volume is increasing, K is decreasing but as a whole the value increases which increases the molar conductance of the solution. This is also due to the increase in number of ions after dilution. So this is the effect of dilution on conductance and we will discuss more about it 